In a brief period since its launch, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has significantly enhanced our comprehension of the cosmos. The images it has captured open new avenues in the study of space science, leaving many astronomers amazed by what it reveals. For the rest of us, these discoveries are astonishing to witness. A truly remarkable finding by the JWST is its detection of distant city-like lights, situated an astonishing 7 trillion miles away. This discovery challenges expectations and stirs up endless speculation about the presence of life beyond our planet particularly when scientists analyze the data for clues about these celestial signals. This revelation sparks discussions about the possibility of life elsewhere in the universe. Let's explore how the JWST captured these city-like lights from billions of miles away. Launched on Christmas Day in 2021, the JWST is designed to be a more advanced, powerful, and precise tool than the Hubble Space Telescope. Its mission is to capture the clearest images of previously discovered phenomena, such as planetary systems, and delve into the latest findings. But before we dive into the new discoveries, let's examine the significant contributions of the Hubble Space Telescope, HST, in the field of space exploration. The Hubble Space Telescope, a groundbreaking project launched in 1990, remains operational today and has transformed the field of cosmology. A joint initiative between NASA and the European Space Agency, ESA, it fulfilled a vision dating back to the 1920s, made feasible by technological advancements in the 1970s. The Hubble's primary mission was to provide high-resolution imagery, enabling the detailed study of celestial bodies and expanding our understanding of massive stars and planetary systems. As a reflecting telescope, the Hubble gathers light from distant objects using mirrors. Its main 2.4-meter, 7.8-feet primary mirror alongside a smaller secondary mirror, directs light to its focal plane where various instruments capture images and collect data. Hubble's toolkit includes cameras for imaging space objects, spectrographs that separate light into its primary colors for analysis, and polarimeters that examine light polarization to reveal details about celestial bodies. Its design also allows for astronaut servicing, enabling repairs and upgrades. The first servicing mission, conducted in 1993, corrected a flaw in the main mirror by adding corrective optics, and five servicing missions have been completed, with the last one occurring in 2009. The Hubble Space Telescope has permanently altered our view of the universe, delivering breathtaking images of galaxies and making groundbreaking discoveries, such as determining the expansion rate of the universe, uncovering dark energy, and witnessing the birth of stars and galaxies. Hubble's legacy extends far beyond its discoveries. It has spurred advancements in cosmic research and inspired new generations of scientists. The success of telescopes like the JWST is built upon Hubble's foundation, promising further insights into the universe and refining our understanding of its origins. The JWST's deep field images are aimed at studying the oldest galaxies, exploring the universe's beginnings by utilizing nearby planetary systems as reference points. The JWST allows astronomers to view celestial bodies as they appeared in ancient times. The JWST first showcased this idea by releasing a deep field image on July 11, 2022, during a White House ceremony led by President Joe Biden. This image, similar to Hubble's deep field images, focused on a small patch of the night sky and revealed approximately 3,000 new objects, primarily distant galaxies located billions of light years away. The JWST's deep field image, much like Hubble's, centers on an inconspicuous spot in the sky, but within this tiny area near the SMX0723 galaxy cluster, there is an immense wealth of data to analyze. This enormous cluster, situated about 4.6 billion light years away, acts as a natural magnifying glass due to its powerful gravitational pull. This phenomenon, known as gravitational lensing, enables astronomers to look even further into the past, reaching back as far as 13.1 billion light years. The search for life beyond Earth has been reignited by the JWST's findings, with many scientists exploring distant galaxies and a specific group of Earth-like planets that might provide vital clues about the existence of extraterrestrial life in our vast neighborhood. This search seeks to address the Fermi paradox, which questions why, Despite the high probability of advanced extraterrestrial life, no. Definitive evidence has been found. 
A particularly notable star system in this quest is TRAPPIST-1, located roughly 40 light-years from Earth. This system, home to seven Earth-sized planets, is of great interest to those searching for habitable worlds. NASA evaluates several factors, such as the size of a planet, its distance from its host star, and its atmospheric conditions to determine its potential to support life. Recently, the JWST made a groundbreaking discovery by measuring the temperature of TRAPPIST-1b. The first time light has been detected from an exoplanet of this size and temperature range. This remarkable achievement highlights the JWST's sensitivity and its potential to transform our understanding of conditions on rocky planets. While the JWST explores these far-flung worlds, the Voyager missions continue to surprise scientists by sending back unexpected data from closer to home. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 is currently traversing a fascinating region at the outer edges of our solar system, contributing another fascinating chapter to the Voyager mission's storied history. Initially intended as short-term endeavors, the Voyager probes have delivered a wealth of valuable information, extending our exploration of space. These discoveries underscore the enduring significance of scientific curiosity and the quest for knowledge. Scientists define interstellar space as the region where the sun's magnetic field and solar wind cease. Voyager 1 crossed this threshold in 2012, while Voyager 2 entered this region in 2018, at a distance of 11 billion miles from Earth. Surprisingly, recent data from Voyager 1 reveals unexpected anomalies at this boundary, known as the heliopause. These anomalies include plasma eruptions and high-energy particles, challenging previous assumptions about the nature of this boundary. This revelation has led scientists to conclude that the heliopause is not a simple, static boundary but a dynamic, evolving region influenced by various factors both within our solar system and the wider universe. Despite encountering technical challenges and the harsh conditions of space, Voyager 2 continues to provide valuable data thanks to innovative solutions developed by NASA engineers. This stands as a testament to humanity's unrelenting drive to explore the unknown, fueled by curiosity and the thirst for knowledge. Venus has also seen a resurgence of interest after being previously dismissed as a lifeless world due to its extreme temperatures. Recent observations by space scientists have rekindled scientific curiosity about Venus. The detection of phosphine gas in Venus's atmosphere, a substance often linked to biological activity, has prompted researchers to reconsider the planet's potential. While phosphine is produced by organisms on Earth, scientists are cautious about jumping to conclusions and are considering other possible sources. The search for life on Venus delves into complex considerations regarding chemical processes, planetary evolution, and possible alternative forms of biological activity. Venus's history suggests it may have had a more temperate past, potentially hosting liquid water for billions of years. This raises intriguing questions about whether life could have existed there in the past, or perhaps still does in its harsh environment. In stark contrast to Venus's intense heat, the icy surface of Jupiter's moon Europa is another potential location for life. Beneath its thick ice crust lies a subsurface ocean, creating the possibility of life in extreme conditions. The vast distances of these far-off worlds cause the light they emit to shift from the visible spectrum into the infrared range. This shift enables the JWST, which is specifically designed to detect infrared light, to observe these ancient worlds with exceptional clarity. By comparing these observations with visible light images from telescopes like Hubble, astronomers can piece together the grand narrative of cosmic evolution. This research provides a unique insight into how planets have evolved from their primordial forms billions of years ago to the magnificent structures we see today. One particularly astonishing aspect of the JWST's deep field image is the speed with which it was captured. Incredibly, the telescope collected the data in just a few hours, demonstrating its remarkable efficiency in detecting cosmic phenomena. Furthermore, the magnifying effect of gravitational lensing is not limited to galaxy clusters. The JWST also captured an intriguing image of two colliding galaxies, designated VV11191. When light from one galaxy passes through another, it distorts, providing valuable insights into the interstellar properties of the intervening galaxy. 
this newly uncovered data has the potential to unlock new mysteries about the formation and evolution of galaxies. The JWST's capabilities extend beyond the study of distant galaxies. A recent mystery featured on the official website suggests a possible sighting of the Aurora Borealis on a brown dwarf, a celestial object that lies between stars and planets. This discovery is surprising because brown dwarfs lack the internal fusion processes that power stars and generate auroras. Researchers are now investigating the exact source of the energy responsible for these auroras, with some suggesting a mechanism similar to Earth's auroras, where methane emissions interact with the brown dwarf's atmosphere. This research could lead to a new understanding of these enigmatic celestial bodies.